On we go. Five group matches remaining. This is the first of them. Fraser Allen versus Patty McCarran. Live on Free Sports TV, we're at the Lemon Tree venue in Aberdeen to find a winner of the Town Shootout Grand Finals, which will be around about well, sometime between 11 and midnight tonight. Every match live here on Free Sports TV. This is uh, Group 4, Martin McIntosh already through. Play 3, one three six points. One match to go. He's last on, actually, this afternoon against Darren Matthew. Patty McCarron himself has a win and a draw on three points, so you need to win here. Fraser himself has one win to his name. You can see Jordan Shepard in, uh, in the background behind... Patty McCarran, he's on next against James Jack. That's a hugely important match. Callum Singleton has won group one. Seven points. He's gone unbeaten through. Three wins and a draw. Jordan Shepard's on four. James Jack is on four. So that is a straight knockout to join Callum in the quarterfinals. That's not going to reach. Oh dear. Well, I'll be furious with himself for that. He's broken down the break. Foul shot. No ball on the cushion. Fraser asking, can he have the white? There you go, says the ref.
Taking these very nicely, Fraser. Doesn't have to do a great deal here with the cue ball. And he rolls around the back of the yellow, in fact, to take the black into the bottom left. Could have played the stun into left centre. Opted for the easier pot and the first frame on the board. Fraser Allen strikes first for a 1 0 lead. Straight back at it. Looking good already for 2 0, Fraser Allen. Batty McCarran in his seat. Local boy from Aberdeen. Finalist in Manchester. But already up against it here. Playing very well, isn't he? This has been inch perfect. And in goes the black for Fraser Allen to lead Patty McCarran by two frames to nil in a race to four.
in this all Aberdeen affair. It's Frazzy who's looking snazzy. Paddy McCarran not having a look in at the moment. A little bit of manoeuvring of the white to do around the pack here. Oh dear. Well, he went for the cannon. I think he's nudged into the black. Doesn't look like he has the potting angle. Oh, he's trying to. He wants to play the swerve pot. I don't think it's on. Let's have a look. That's a foul, I think, being called. Certainly didn't have the angle, so Patty gets his first real opportunity. In it goes, <laughs> and he makes sure he waits. Gesture to yesterday when he started clearing up the table before the white stopped moving, it cost him frame and match. Patty McCarran, slight breeze, is on the board, and he trails 2-1. So it's Fraser, Patty and Darren Matthew fighting for one spot in the quarterfinals. The runner-up spot behind Martin McIntosh. And Darren Matthew has to play Martin McIntosh last on this afternoon. Martin played 3-1-3 already through as winner of the group. Winner of this match goes second. But if Darren beats Martin, he can still catch them. So we know the loser of this is out, but the winner will have to wait until that last match. And Fraser looks pretty... Dominant at the moment. 3 1 with six minutes to go.
What he'd give for a big break here. Oh, he's had an awful, awful break. Oh, he'll have a laugh about it. Got it all wrong there. Having a word with the referee. That's <laughs> he's saying, turn the cameras off. Doesn't think this is going to be a, p a pretty frame. Needs the white to move, has done. Looking very good now for Fraser Allen. Still has work to do, needs to drop on the last red behind the black. Could have done with being a bit straighter. That flick was always going to happen, he's on the red. He looks like he's all right. He's just checking the black passes. If it does, he's absolutely fine. And this will be 4-1. And a very impressive victory for Fraser Allen. Doesn't look like it goes, though. No. So instead, he'll be winding down the clock. And there we go. The concession and the victory. Patty McCarran's tournament is done. He will stay in short. The final evening, the grand final, I am sure. But it's victory in the end for Fraser Allen to keep his hopes alive. We'll be waiting on that Darren Matthew, Martin McIntosh game. We've got a winner takes all next. James Jack against Jordan Shepard. You won't want to miss that. And that's in just a few minutes time. Right. Patty did have a chance to stay alive in that match, although <laughs> Simon Webb has rejoined me for commentary, said he thought he was already out. And that's straightened up as well. The way he needs a really good shot here. Well, he's played for it into the top left. Oh, he's going to run straight. Well, if this is tight, and it has to be, being uh, off angle on it, Makes it even harder. Can't see the pocket. Oh, he's got it. What a shot. 